Hi, in this video we have a function f of x, y is equal to x times parentheses or bracket the natural log of the square root of x squared plus y squared minus the natural log of y and plus y times e to the x over y. And the question is, is the function homogeneous? So recall a function uh, is homogeneous of degree n if whenever you have say f of lambda x, lambda y, if you plug in lambda x for x and lambda y for y, you end up with lambda to the n times f of x, y. So if this happens, uh, we say the function is homogeneous of degree n. And this comes up in the study of differential equations. If you have a differential equation uh, that has the form, say, m dx plus n dy, and that's equal to zero, if your function m and your function n are homogeneous of the same degree, then we say it's a homogeneous differential equation. So in this problem, we just have a function and all we have to do is uh, figure out if it's homogeneous. And we'll also find the degree, right? n here can vary. So all we have to do basically in this problem is simply replace x with lambda x and y with lambda y. And this is one that is uh, you know, a lot uh, harder than the ones you would actually see in a differential equations class. It just looks very different uh, from what you would see. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and replace x with lambda x and y with lambda y. Okay, this will be lambda x bracket natural log square root x is lambda x, so this is lambda x squared, writing small here, make sure I have enough room, plus lambda y squared, okay, minus natural log of y, which is lambda y, plus y, which is lambda y, and then e, x is lambda x, and y is lambda y. So basically, just going through and replacing every single x with lambda x, and every single y with lambda y. That's all we're doing uh, in this problem. So this is equal to, I'm gonna come down here because I need more room. So actually I'm gonna come down even further because I need a lot more room. So I'm gonna come way down here. Okay, so we have lambda x out front. So this is lambda x, okay, bracket. And then here, um, this is being squared, so it'll be lambda squared x squared, lambda squared y squared. Then we can pull out that lambda squared, so you can write this as the natural log of the square root of lambda squared, parentheses, x squared plus y squared, like that. And you can skip more steps. Minus, here we're gonna use the product rule for logs. Remember, if you have the natural log of a times b, that's equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. It's called the product rule for logs. So here there's a minus that's gonna get distributed across this sum. This will be minus ln lambda. And maybe I won't do it right away. I'll, I'll show that step. Plus ln y. Don't skip too many steps. Plus lambda y. E, and then these lambdas cancel so you simply get x over y. And the goal is to factor out a lambda from our original function. So that's, that's the goal. Ideally, we want to end up with like lambda to a power times this whole thing we have up here. All right, let's keep going. This is equal to lambda x bracket. Um, there is a square root here. So what you can do here, I'll show the intermediate step here. This is natural log lambda squared. Okay. And then times um, square root x squared plus y squared, like that. And then you can apply this rule. So it'll be natural log square root lambda squared plus natural log square root x squared plus y squared, right, by the product rule. So you can use this product rule again on, on this piece here. You see that? Because this is really in parentheses. Okay, that's your a, that's your b. See a, b, a, b is a plus b, a, b is a plus b. Beautiful, but this, the square root of lambda squared is just lambda, so this will be the natural log of lambda, okay, plus the natural log of the square root of x squared plus y squared, minus the natural log of lambda, minus, right, distribute that negative one, natural log of y. You want to distribute 
really a negative one here and you're multiplying so you get that plus lambda y e to the x over y. And then look at this. We lose the lambdas. Maybe we lose the lambdas. So we end up with lambda x bracket natural log square root x squared plus y squared minus natural log of y plus lambda y e to the x over y. And then now you can pull out the lambda. This will be lambda parentheses x bracket natural log square root x squared plus y squared minus the natural log of y plus y e to the x over y. And this thing here in parentheses that I'm underlining is our original function, right? This is, this is what we started with, okay? This is going to be lambda times f of x, y. Okay, let's just go back up and double check. So x times all of this plus y e to the x over y is exactly what we have up here, right? X times all of that plus that. Yep, it's exactly what we have, right? So no issues uh, there. And uh, n is one, right? We started with, so we started with this. And through a series of steps, we showed it's equal to this. So there's a one here. So f of x, y is a homogeneous function. So is a homogeneous function of degree one, of degree one. So yeah, just a quick video, or I don't know how long this video is, but it felt quick to me. Uh, let's see, what's the time on this video? Oh, seven minutes, all right, the video <laughs> uh, to show you um, why uh, this function is homogeneous. So it is, and it's of degree one. So again, you start the process by simply replacing x uh, with lambda x and y with lambda y. And you basically, that's all you do. So for each uh, x that you see, you put a lambda x for each y that you see, you put a lambda y, and then you just go through it. Um, here we had to use some algebra, so lambda x quantity squared, lambda y quantity squared became lambda squared x squared, lambda squared y squared, and then down here, uh, here we use the product rule, and then here we factored out the lambda squared from this, okay, and then here's the intermediate step where um, we use the product rule, okay, and then we canceled the lambdas, and then we end up here. And then um, once you get here, what you want to do is you want to pull out the lambda from everything. So let me use a different color here because it looks a little bit weird. You want to take out a lambda from this and from this. And then here you see what's left. You have this piece, which is here, and this piece, which is here. And you have lambda on the outside. So lambda times this is this. Lambda times this is this. And it's a lot to look at. But all of this here is uh, f of x, y, which is here. And since the exponent is one, then we say it's homogeneous of uh, degree one. So, yep, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.